Terra Luna was one of the top cryptocurrencies available in the entire cryptocurrency market. The digital currency skyrocketed during the 2021 bull run to over $110 and quickly increased in popularity. Investors were incredibly bullish on the token even despite an overall downturn in markets. Luna did not follow Bitcoin as closely as other altcoins for quite some time. The bullish momentum for Terra Luna grew even further after Do Kwan, the CEO of Terraform Labs, which is the company that is behind Terra Luna, Anchor Protocol and the UST stablecoin, announced that he would be purchasing $10 billion in Bitcoin to back USD. Anchor Protocol became a favorite among retail investors due to the ability to stake Luna's native stablecoin, UST, at incredibly high rates of return. The protocol was offering around 19% interest on stablecoins staked in their protocol. In May 2022, Terra Luna crashed to near zero prices after UST lost its peg to the dollar. The stablecoin crashed to less than 10 cents in value, which had a devastating impact on many investors who had been waiting on the sidelines to purchase cryptocurrencies during the bear market. Eventually, Luna Foundation Guard had to sell nearly all of the Bitcoin in its reserves in a last-ditch attempt of saving UST from complete collapse. There are lessons to be learned from the downfall of Luna. In this video, we will analyze these lessons and discuss how you can hedge yourself against similar possibilities. Lesson 1. Do your own research. After Terra Luna began to plummet in value, investors began to research the reasons as to why the collapse happened. Many were surprised to learn that UST was an algorithmic stablecoin not backed by cash but backed by the Luna token. The security of their funds ultimately depended on the stability of the token that backed it, Terra Luna. When Luna began to plummet, UST completely lost the trust of investors and began to freefall, as the reality of the situation became evident. Retail investors were investing heavily in Luna and keeping most of their cash in UST without really knowing how it worked. Because everyone else was doing the same, they figured that the risk was minimal. All they could see was that they could earn high interest rates and they were sold. Prior to the collapse, many intelligent investors warned about the dangers of Terra Luna, equating it to a Ponzi scheme. These warnings were labeled as FUD and were largely ignored by most retail investors. If these investors had heeded the warnings and had been open-minded enough to take a look into what was going on behind the scenes, they could have avoided calamity. Lesson 2. Hedge against downside. There's a popular saying which has become a cliché, but still holds true, especially in the world of crypto. They say to never place all your eggs in the same basket, and this is a prime example of why that is never a good idea. Investors who had their entire life savings in Anchor Protocol did not anticipate a complete collapse in Luna and UST. They believed Luna was too big to fail, as it was a top 10 cryptocurrency. No matter what you believe, you must adequately hedge against downside. You must hold multiple positions in various assets and asset classes so that you can never be destroyed by a single downwards move. While what happened to Terra Luna was at no fault of the investors who lost their money, the responsibility of managing and spreading risk is always at the hands of an individual investor. It must be assumed that there is a chance of permanent loss when investing. To hedge properly, you must invest in correlated and uncorrelated assets. You must invest in tangible goods, commodities, cash, bonds, stocks and cryptocurrencies. The moment you go all in on a single investment, you are taking on much larger risk than you need to be. Lesson 3 despise the free lunch. Law 40 of the 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene states, despise the free lunch. What this means is that in order to build power, you cannot be drawn to the idea of something for nothing. There is always a catch. If something sounds too good to be true, it most likely is. If Anchor Protocol was offering 19% interest, that money had to have come from somewhere. Interest paid must come from somewhere. In the case of Anchor Protocol and Luna, the high interest rates are what drew in crowds of retail investors, who were looking to earn interest while stacking their cash for bear market purchases. The entire scheme required more investors to FOMO into Luna, increasing valuations of the token and drawing in more retail investors into Anchor Protocol through rising interest rates. Greed is what causes most investors to lose big. Retail investors successfully put away cash to purchase cryptocurrencies when Bitcoin fell under $30,000. If they had kept their cash in the bank, it would still be there. However, the idea of earning no interest was not good enough for these investors. Unable to control their greed, they lost it all by chasing high interest rates. This is an example of excess in the market that needs to be cleared out before a move even higher. While the story of Terra Luna is certainly unfortunate, there are always lessons to be learned. The key is to learn from the mistakes of others as opposed to having to learn from your own mistakes. These tips won't make you rich, but will ensure that you are responsible in your investments and don't lose big on a single play. 
The key to success in investing is to be prepared for negative situations and be best positioned to win despite the direction the market is moving. If you found this video educational and want to see more, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. This video is strictly for entertainment and educational purposes and does not constitute financial advice.